Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in to Tuesday night's MCW Mayhem. It's the week leading up to the pay-per-view. Up in here, y'all gonna make me go all out. Up in here, up in here, y'all gonna make me act a fool. Up in here, up in here, y'all gonna make me lose my cool. Up in here, up in here. Big, big matches tonight. Big matches. Um, I'm glad I've got the night. Ah, oh, yeah, man. I, I, I could not. I could not give you the night off. Um, big matches this uh, tonight. Huge main event. Um, I think the only way to get started is to press this little button right here. And let's fucking go. How are we, you fucking legend? Mate, I'm fucking awesome. How are you? I did have a nice little hour's nap before the show. Which was probably a bad idea, if I'm honest. I shouldn't have had a nap. But I made such a lovely homemade cooked meal. Uh, coated, co cornflake coated chicken. With my own little spices and that all added to it. Oh, it was banging. But yeah, let's do this. Let's fucking go. Should be a good matchup tonight. Hopefully find some new number one contenders. If not, I've got some work to do. Oh, Chelsea, it was so good. Eating pizza whilst watching this. Ah, oh, yeah, boy. Question is, Hazard, how's the night going to go for you, mate? How is the night going to go for Hazard? Johnny Nurkade, how we doing, dude? So we're kicking things off, ladies and gentlemen, with the NIC title rematch. You might remember last week, Kyron was able to beat King in a fatal four-way match. And King, King needs that rematch. King needs the rematch. Um, so, yeah. This is their rematch, as we know. I have now elected to have rematch clauses inside the show. Which means you get a rematch the next the next available chance we can. This is shaped up to be a good one. It's a table match, baby, to kick off the show. Table match, title match. What better way to kick off mayhem? Let's go! Yo, how we doing? Glint Hammer Gaming, how we doing? Welcome in to MCW. And here we go. King is sporting a brand new appearance. When they came into the franchise brand, they had two appearances. This one here is hope hopefully going to make them glow up more than his jacket. Remember, guys, the title's on the line here in this one. B-Man, how we doing, B-Man? Welcome in, man. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. But, yeah, can he win his title back? Looking creepy. Sometimes you've got to go creepy to, to get the uh, job done. But let's see what he can do against this man right here. Debuting a couple of weeks, a couple of shows ago now. And he had a shot at this title last week. Ooh. And he came straight in with it. He came in. Everyone writ him off. And he literally just got there. Go for it, mate. What's the what's the question about the rematch clause, mate? Here he comes. It's the non-stop internet champion. That's what NIC stands for, if, in case you were wondering. I spoke to my son the other day. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I spoke to my son the other day and I said to him, what do you feel? What do you think about winning the title? And he was like, I'm so happy about it, Dad. And I was like, do you reckon you can keep it after you, after you do your title defence? And like, try and retain it against King? And his, his answers was simple and clear. Yes, I do, Dad. Yo, Grimclaw. How we doing, man? 
Dude, I'm not too bad. A bit tired now. I've had a little nap. I shouldn't have napped. But yeah, that is what the old match is for. Table matches are pretty quick. Does the rematch clause apply only to the top? That's, that's what the whole rematch clause is about, mate. Of course it only applies to title matches. Yeah. What on there? What? So here we go. There's only one way to win. And that After winning this title, the is getting this in. I'm doing good here, mate, despite that I didn't hand any news on my character in action. Uh, what was the name of your character again, Grim? Try and remind me. All there's going to be on here is carnage and mayhem. What was the hashtag again? And I'll have, I'll check I'll check up on that one because it's you, I'll just write it above my um above my stuff. So yeah, just um, if you give me the hashtag again, Grim. Both wrists captured. Oof. I'll DM you. Yeah, not a problem, problem Grim. Not a problem at all. Going to a table here. You gotta be quick and you have to be aware King is come the out the blocks time. firing. You always need to know where the Doing that tonight, fresh. All for Friday, mate. King is all business. King has come out and he hasn't let Kyron Lamb one punch. He's gonna have to dig out of this in a hurry. And this is this is the thing. <sighs> new attire. New attitude. New aggression. Man, no defense. That's it. No defense. Oh, there's some. Kyron finally landed a move. Not for long, though. King has got him up. And a Claymore kick straight to the face. And here we go. Massive DDT. King was all business, and then he decides to go and get the table. Brilliant, brilliant work. Nice. King does mean business tonight, mate. I completely agree with you. Oh, huge kick. And Kyron has been absolutely decimated. King did not come to play games tonight. King's come with one thing in mind. Regaining that NIC title. King's a beast. Uh, he definitely is. He just wants the title back and back again. You ask me, I have a creator wrestler. That's a yes, by the way. Nice, you've got a creator wrestler of you. Well, I'll say, if you want to be a part of the, sh the show and the franchise, twice a week we go live. I'm always on the lookout for new creator wrestlers to uh, join our franchise. It just means that, obviously, by having the creator wrestlers in there, I don't have to use so many of the released talent of WWE, which is nice. Oh, Kyron's coming back. Kyron is coming back with a fucking vengeance. Thank you very much indeed, dude. He's setting his table up and guys, someone's about to have a really bad night. Yeah, I forgot to download it later. This I forgot I forgot to download it, mate. I've just quickly looked. Definitely forgot to download it, so I do apologize. Wow! Who saw that coming? Kyron got decimated the whole of that match. Then he comes back and slams him through a table. Way to go indeed. Um, so yeah, Grim, we will get you debuted this week. On uh, We'll debut you on Carnage. And you will be on Mayhem every week. 
But yeah, we're going to debut you on Carnage. But yeah, congratulations, NIC title holder, retainer. There we go. Boom. So, as you lot know, at the moment in MCW, Ivy Jane has no, no con contests. No competition. Now, we haven't seen Cheryl Munoz in a long time in MCW. She's been out of action for a good few weeks. And I feel like... I, I feel like... Maybe this is Cheryl Mano's time. Can she get her name into the title picture, ladies and gents? In time for the pay-per-view? Or will Ivy Jane yet again storm through the competition? Let's go and find out. Let's find out. Let's go, ladies. You called it. You did. Well, let's get predictions done. Got to get that done last time. Normally we get this done all the time. Thank you very much indeed, uh, Glen Hammer Gaming. Thank you for that, um, that awesome stuff. Don't know what the awesome stuff. Follow. Thank you for the follow. Right, start a prediction. Who will win? Two minute prediction. Now in the chat. Get those channel points on there. So yeah, Grimclaw, I do apologise, mate. And as an apology as well, I will get you straight into a title match picture. Let's go. That was our women's champion. Been dominant ever since coming into MCW. And no one has come close to taking that title from her. And here she comes. It's Cheryl Muno. Can I be his debut opponent, Cliff? Demonic, I will let I will let you be his debut opponent on Mayhem. But he's gonna debut on Carnage and then come over to Tuesday nights. As usual, maintenance tomorrow for Supercard at 10 a.m. Yeah, new tier ready. You went all in on Ivy. I think that's a safe bet, mate. I do feel like that's a safe bet. As much as I really, really want Cheryl Minow to win this game, Ivy Jane's an absolute beast. You're welcome, dude. You're welcome. So we'll get um, we'll get new characters downloaded at the end of this show, just so it's all done live on stream. And uh, if I if I need to do anything, then I can let you know. <laughs> But Cheryl Mano looks like a badass. Loads of you predicting Ivy Jane's winning this. You've gone 4K on Ivy? Nice. Uh, oh, excuse me. Ivy is too good, mate. Ivy is insane. You'll gladly accept that match? Nice. Demonic, I'm excited for our match as well, man. And here we go. Did you get the boys downloaded, Cliff? Doing that tonight as well, man. Doing that all tonight. And, you have to respect the work this and here we go. Cheryl Mano doing exactly what King did. Coming out the box. Absolutely fuming. She knows that this is an opportunity that won't always be there. So why not go for it? I'm excited to have you back, dude. I'm excited to have you back. Oh, we've seen that move a lot from Ivy Jane. Huge, huge body... Um, oh, I don't know, body splash from the top right. <laughs> and here she goes with those amazing strikes. Ivy Jane is now coming into her stride. She knows what's expected as she knocks Cheryl Mano there off the apron. Out to the ringside. 
And she's just waiting. What's she, what's she got planned? What's her plans here? What's she thinking? Let her get up. Full sense of security. It looks like it was. A full sense of security there for Looking Cheryl Minow. Ivy Jane's going a bit out of context here. Ivy Jane never normally goes out onto the... Um, and doing that with the announcer's table. Not quite sure what to expect. Has Matt Casper... No, no, hasn't been on. He's on, uh, he's on Friday nights, he is. Huge move. Huge move. One. Just the one count. Fighting hard to stay in this match. Springboard. Massive springboard moonsault. Going up top. She's got up. Huge body splash and Cheryl gets the knees up at the last second. And a huge springboard uh, donkey kick, I'm going to call it. Come on, Ivy Killer. <laughs> Cheryl Minow is just absolutely going crazy here. Very good um, barrage of moves there. Huge kick to the head. Cheryl Minow, very impressive out the blocks here. What's she doing? She's gone for a cover. One. Two. Ooh. And a close, a close kick out. Yo, how's it going? Sorry for getting late. It's all good. It's all good. What a horrendous leg drop on the elbow. Oh, here comes the kicks. Here comes those kicks. What else are we going to see? This is the Ivy Jane we know. Oh, a King Sasha into the cover. Here we go. One, two. Ooh. Is that Cheryl's best chance now gone? It looks to me like, uh, like Ivy Jane is now going to start getting that momentum back. And she's gone for it. One. Ooh. The kick out at just one. But yeah, was that Cheryl's best shot at trying to uh, win the match and solidify herself in the women's title picture? Pyrus maneuver paying off this time. One, two. Oh, what a kick out. What a kick out. Where's she taking her now? Into the corner. Here we go. Beautiful kick. Look out. Look out. Oh, a huge move. I don't think we've ever seen that from Ivy. Two. How? How did she kick out from that? How? That surely must have knocked her out. But what a manoeuvre. I agree. How did she kick out? It goes Cheryl. One. Two. Close calls, ladies and gentlemen, from both superstars. Yo, 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 Jamie, welcome in. Oh, that was a not a wise move. Could that be the move or the taunt that has just ruined her chance? Oh, and countered the finishing move. A King Sasha, can she do it? One, two. Oh, how did she kick out? Wowzers, what a matchup, ladies and gentlemen, we've got here on our hands. With some awesome, quick, thinking leg drops, keeping that offence on the fucking rise. But yeah, welcome in, Jamie. Hope you're doing good, dude. It's a glitch in the Matrix. It feels like it is. Oh, oh, a reverse hurricanrana. That could have damn near broke her neck. And here goes Ivy. One, two. Oh, another close call. Another close call. Oh, 
the lower spine there. The lower spine. Yeah, I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Made some hella big progress today on my single player on Stranded Deep. Well excited to get back on that tonight. Well excited to get back on that. And here we go. What's Ivy Jane got planned? Ivy Jane is teeing up another finisher, I think. Oh, my God. An STO to set it up. Oh, a huge, huge moonsault. A double axe handle to the forehead. Oh, and Ivy Jane's feeling it. She's feeling it. She's got for the pin. One, two. Oh, Ivy Jane there with the win. Dan is in the house. How are you and the wife? Yeah, mate, I'm good. Um, she's getting there. She's slowly getting there. Amazing matchup. Well done, ladies. Well done, ladies. Right, let's get the next prediction underway. The next matchup, ladies and gentlemen, is for the hardcore title. And it sees a newcomer to the show come in here after their loss last week to Legend Danny. BR Styles has arrived and he's coming straight in for the title. He wants to know what's going on. Where is he? Um, it should be there, mate. It should be there. Can Johnny Thunder remain hardcore title holder? Can Johnny Thunder remain fucking impressive? Even when you've lost a match, Johnny, you're impressive as fuck. It's gone. Let me sort it out. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match and is for the Hardcore Championship. This is my brutality. And here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. We've only seen them in a few matches so far. Fingers crossed they can carry on their good their good run on here. I mean, I say good run. Ugh, excuse me. They lost to Legend Danny last week. Legend Danny wanted to be uh, the loser of like, which was weird. He wanted to lose last week, but it wasn't the case. Empty dub, empty dub, empty dub. But yeah, here is the king of darkness, basically. The king of darkness. BR Styles is here. Empty dub, But he has got the challenge of a lifetime. Oh! Up in here, up in here, y'all go make me act a fool. Up in here, up in here, y'all go make me lose my cool. Up in here, up in here. Welcome in JKG Gaming TTV, the man, the myth, the more fucking goat. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're not following JKG um, Gaming, go over now and see him. I raided him this afternoon. He's just returned me with a raid. And Raiders, welcome in to MCW. MCW is where it's all about. You're crazy. You're crazy, man. You're crazy, motherfucker. This is the place to be, ladies and gentlemen, on Tuesday and Friday nights. And that's my fucking channel, motherfucker. This is where we've got our custom WWE 2K22 show. Get This is Tuesday Night Mayhem. In the ring right now, representing the authority. Putting their title on the line of the Hardcore Championship. 
It's the hardcore champion himself, Mr. Johnny Thunder! By the way, Cliff, speaking of Stranded Deep, I've got awesome news that I thought I could share. Of course you can share it with me. I love all things Stranded Deep. This girl who's in six forms is somehow in the same hotel as me in Edinburgh. Uh -huh. Introducing the challenge. Pretty sure Jamie, Jamie's from Edinburgh. You should find him, Hazza. The sim guy who's in the chat, he's in Edinburgh. BR Styles is here. But yeah, how was the rest of your stream, JK? How was the rest of the stream? Here he goes. This is who I think is going to win. Being a member of the authority, I'm going for my boy, Mr. Nerdcade, ladies and gentlemen. Nerdcade is going to smash this. This BR Styles character stands no chance. Cliff, if I win tonight, I'll go find that girl's hotel room. And what, play Uno? <laughs> Two things. One, I managed to hunt down a devilish tiger shark from the past three, the, from the past these weeks. Nice. Two, I managed to level up hunting, physical, you and craftsman. Nice. I'm going to try and say your name right. Correct. Correct. That's right. Correct. Good, Johnny. Good, Johnny. Uh, Mat Matalondra. Matalondra. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Madhouse Revolution stream with me, Cliff Davies Gaming. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I shit you not. If you want to make it far and get your communities, myself and JKG Gaming TTV, we're the people for you. We are the streamers of all streamers. Not to blow smoke up me ass. But if I blew any more up my ass, people will accuse me of getting shit done. From Chile! I think you're the first person I've had in my stream from Chile. So, everyone, say hello to the Chilean person of Metalondra. And a great kick out there by Johnny. Come on, Johnny. Don't let me down. BR Styles has come out and he means business. But here's those amazing strikes now by Johnny Thunderland. Gentlemen. Sophie, the Queen of Wolves. Oh. Here to spread some sweet vibes. I love the stream. Keep up the good vibes. You will grow big on Twitch. Also love the bid. I appreciate the compliment. And thank you for coming in. Massively appreciate it. I hope you like the entrance. Whenever you come in here now, it's going to be... Oh. oh, and a big reversal there by King. Oh, with the suplex, and he's picked up the chair. Could this be Johnny's first major test as hardcore title holder? And he throws BR Styles into the steps. Pick up the chair, Johnny. Oh man, you can see he is feeling it now. Oh, BR, BR is going for it. He's going for it. And here we go, Johnny. Johnny's like, you ain't hitting me with no chair, mate. You ain't hitting me with a, with a chair. What's he doing here? What's he doing here? Big front suplex. Pick up the chair, Johnny. Pick up the chair. Your na Her name turned you on. Which person's name turned you on, mate? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Huge move. Huge move. Camille, sounds like a cup of tea, mate, or a bottle of lotion. Oh, a face full of steel! BR Styles with a very, very impressive MCW Mayhem um, debut at the moment. One, two, and a brilliant kick out there by Johnny Thunder. The one at the hotel. A bottle of lotion potentially needed. <laughs> uh, hazard. <laughs> huh? He's 14. Yeah, let him go for it. So your roots. So your roots, you dirty little 14. Yeah. Oh, a kid sad. Johnny out of nowhere. Come on. One. Two. 
Oh. Oh, he's 15. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday. He's 15. That was the other day, wasn't it? Your birthday. I'm pretty, pretty sure it was your birthday just now. Also, my walls will bless every stream and guide you wherever you need to go. But please, don't boop their nose. <laughs> I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued by, by, I'm intrigued by your wolves. Another huge move. Oh, what a, what a strike there. What a strike by Johnny. Oh, how's he not, how did he not get that? Huge suplex into the pin. Oh, my, how? Johnny, you're just there. You're getting this, to, you're getting this done. You turn 22. You turn 23 in March. Damn, you're all so young. You're not 18 at all, Dan. You bloody fucking liar. I've sent you over a follow on um, on Twitch, Sophie. He won't, Johnny. He's persistent. TJ's 32. Now we're talking, TJ. Get up closer to my age. Oh, huge neck breaker there by BR Styles. Very impressive. Very, very impressive. Oh, and a nasty backbreaker. You're 21. Stop being young, everyone. Oh, a massive reversal there. Huge reversal. It could be clinical, that reversal. Oh, and he's asking him to get up. There you go. Another follower there for Sophie. I just, I don't know what to expect. Another huge net breaker. How much more can that neck of Johnny Thunder take? You're 12. What the fuck? 12 year old shouldn't be on Twitch. It's for 13 and older. Get off of Twitch. Oh, big moves incoming. Big move! Big move incoming! What a brain buster! That's gotta be it! That's gotta be it! One! Two! Johnny Thunder's resilience here! What a matchup! A huge reversal yet again! And he's going for it again! Here he goes! Big, big knee! What else is we we're gonna see? A pin! One! Two! Johnny Thunder there with the win. BR Styles. Like, well done, mate. Well done. Johnny Thunder there with the win, ladies and gentlemen. BR Styles is not... Oh. Unlucky BR Styles. There's going to be a penalty or something there for hitting the referee. Next up, ladies and gentlemen. The authority, baby. He knows it. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a tag team matchup. We have got the reigning... Uh, Johnny Thunder won, Griff. We've got the reigning women's tag team champions struggling to find their next competitors. Can they find a number one contender in W and Alpha? Stay tuned to find out. All we do know is, is for some reason, this game doesn't like them having the belts around their waist. So, yeah, they won't have the belt around their waist. We know that much. Where there's going to be four entrances, we're doing a five minute long prediction. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Coming first to the ring. Representing the authority. One half of the women's MCW. Tag Team Champions of the World! Frankie Davey! 
Let's go, Frankie! <laughs> Congratulations, Johnny Nerd, uh, Johnny Thunder there from the Nerdcade, from the Nerdcade Army, on that amazing retain of your title. Big match coming up for you at the pay-per-view, I think, mate. Big match coming up. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Her tag team partner. The Devil in High Heels. Making up the other half of the MCW Wish Champions. Chelsea! Shmay! Oh, I forgot to change your, um, I was meant to change your, um, your entrance theme to Shinsuke Nakamura. <laughs> I was going to do it as a joke. <laughs> but yeah, can they wipe out even more stuff? What about BR Styles? Um, yeah, he done well tonight. He lost, but he done well. Chelsea just owning that ring like she normally does lately. And their opponents, ladies and gentlemen, looking to make a name for themselves and put their face on the map of women's division tag team wrestling. She's only wrestled here once or twice over the last month or so. And here we have W. No one knows what W stands for. Some people think it stands for Wonder Woman. Some people think it stands for Wonderful. Others think it stands for Goddamn Incredible. Those are people who are dyslexic. But we will soon see. Does it stand for winner? Let's find out, baby. Did you like that one, Doug? <laughs> I just talk shit. I just talk shit. The devil in high heels, you love it. Yeah, you go. And here we go. The rock star of the underground, baby. Alpha's here. Why does W look like a bigger version of Ember Moon? Because it probably is, mate. It probably is. And this lady reminds me of... I think there used to be a person in... In the old school. In the older days of WWE. It's like Luna or something like that. And she was fucking... Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Luna Vachon. There you go, exactly what you thought. But yeah, we know, we know that Chelsea and Frankie are a dominant force. Since that rematch for the titles, they have fucking smashed it out the park. And it's like they've proper come into their own now as competitors in here. I wonder what they'll be like as single competitors. That's the question. What would they be like as a single competitor? Who knows? Let's have a look and see how we get on here. This is a non-title match. Looking to see if this tag team can uh, sort them out. What do you mean? A what? Business tablet. You for good reason, what? Locks in the gut Just keep Ethan's charged up. Oh, I haven't got a stuff for a tablet. When the credit limit gets increased, then yeah. Don't you dare break me, me and Frankie apart. I won't break you apart. Hell no. No, I won't do that. I'm not that harsh. Out of the four entrances, I like Chelsea's the most. There you go. Do I remember Kurgan? Yes, I remember Kurgan. Kurgan was also 
He done. He had a acting role in um, Game of um, No, not Game of Shadows. Or was it Game of Shadows? Sherlock Holmes. I don't know if it was number one. I think it was number one. It, yeah, number one it was of Game of Shadows. No, fucking Game of Shadows. That's number two. But yeah, Kurgan had a um, acting role in there in um, Sherlock Holmes with Robert Downey Jr. And here we go, Frankie being impressive. Going to tag Chelsea in now. Nice little tag there. 16 more shards than I have. F1, WrestleMania 38 Roman. Go on! CES are really getting fired up. A big stomp there with the high heels. Warrants a cover. Number one count. Just a one count there. Quite an early count, that was. Early count. She's enduring some damage. Oh, a W coming in there with the huge club to the face. And now Alpha is taking control. Alpha's trying to solidify their name, like I've said a couple of times. I might sound like a broken record, but that is what I'm here to do. And W is coming in. The fresh bunch out the lot. And here she comes. Big suplex. Oh, it's a big suplex. Oh, huge, huge suplex. Both Mrs. Davies and Chelsea, nice entrances. There you go. That sounds very, very perverted as well. <laughs> That's like a dodgy chat up line that you would not use to a woman in a bar. I just want to say, you've got a nice entrance. <laughs> Oh, the Dark King put up a hell of an entrance tonight, mate. Hell of an entrance. Definitely put him on... Uh, he's definitely put people on notice. Oh, shit. Yeah, definitely put people on notice. But will be punished. Will be punished for his actions at the end of the match. And, oh, a great reversal yet again. Chelsea saying to Alpha, you are not going to take me from behind. This is not this is not what I'm here for. I am here to wrestle. And here we go. Is this going to be the first double team of the, of the night? No. Straight in there. Stomping them high heels into the breast bones. Oh, she's trying to pull the arm out the socket. The there. Uh, Now's the forearm straight to the face. What else could we potentially see? That is the question. You had leftover steak. Nice. <laughs> I've just realized Chelsea put I see you, thank you. <laughs> two. Oh, and a lovely kick out after two. She'll be able to do it again. Oh, excuse me. And now here comes Alpha. Nice, nice. Um, standing shooting star press. Now bringing W back into the fray. They know that Chelsea is out of it at the moment. And she's gone for the pin. One, two. Oh. You're on your way to my favourite Chinese restaurant. Oh, why would you say the Chinese word? I love Chinese. Proper raw power there by W. A brilliant reversal yet again by Chelsea. And here we go. A tilt of world DDT. Brilliantly worked. That has stopped W right there in her tracks. Yeah, have an awesome bit of food. Fucking right. And Frankie Davies is going high risk. High risk manoeuvre. And it pays off for her. She's forced onto the defensive now. It pays off beautifully. She's looking for the win. And she's going for the pin. One. Oh, just the one count. Amazing effort by her. Not a problem, dude. I appreciate it as always. 
and Frankie now is going for the big body slam on Alpha. Completely forgot about W. She forgot about W as W gets the pump handle slam in. And here we go. One, two, and a beautiful kick out by Frankie. Come on, Frankie, we got this. Oh, a big splash there, countered clinically. The reversal was brilliant by Frankie. And another huge reversal there by W. Reversing the Spanish fly and stopping the power tag in as well. Big backbreaker. Huge backbreaker there with the extended wrench. Oh, and a big knee to the face of Frankie Davies. And she's dragging her really, really far away from her partner. That is some good tactics right there. One. Two. And a kick out. And a kick out. Make sure you pay for your food. No, run. Eat. Dine and, dine and dive. Dine and dash. That's what I was trying to say. Dine and dash. Big move incoming. Big move. Oh, a spinning RKO. That could be it. That could have broken her neck. And a brilliant, brilliant break up there by Chelsea. Sent over the top rope, straight to the floor. What has Alpha got in store now? Nothing, because Frankie has reversed it again. And here comes the comeback, you can imagine. Huge, huge headbutt. Just flooring Alpha. And she's gone top rope. High risk. High reward. Huge elbow drop there by Frankie. And she's gone for the pin. One. Two. Ooh. Just milliseconds away from winning this matchup. And she's decided I'm bringing Chelsea in. Bring in the fresher of the two. And what has Chelsea got planned? What has Chelsea got planned here? Top rope manoeuvre. Oh, and a reversal there by Alpha. But Chelsea's straight back up. And here comes W. Freshness versus freshness. And W. W's got Chelsea up. Big slam. And now stomping a mud hole in her into the floor. Look at the power of W. Oh, a huge front slam. What is next on the agenda? Oh, and a beautiful reversal there by Chelsea. Countering W's finisher. We've seen great uses of the reversals from both teams. Shoved the high heel up her ass, I'm hearing. And here comes the beats of the Baron. The ten beats of the Baron. Shot after shot after shot. Good And there we go. She has been neutralised. Oh, excuse me again. Bloody yawns. I got yawns. What's up? Huh? Oh, no, what are you You trying to get a contract? She manages to get control. Oh, right, okay. Around the neck. Draw on. Huge move, huh? Um, yeah, it's normal. Huh? No, G. They need to get back in the ring. They need to get in the ring. Chelsea knows this. Chelsea is in the ring. Can she win by count out? We are about to hit it. Number nine. Are they about to win? Edge is back. Oh, my God. Thank you for the follow. Chelsea and Frankie win by count out. Winners by count out. A win is a win at the end of the day. Chelsea, great tactics there by your character. Hook them up on the, ring, on the ringside area. They just could not regain the power to get off. Well done. Brilliant win there for you two.
And there is our winners. Did I say authority? You did indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, the next matchup comes a bit out of the blue. These two have had their issues in the past in the stream. But everything's been hunky-dory lately. And they decided tonight is the night to have a backstage brawl. So we've got... I'm just going to start the prediction now. Who will win this, ladies and gents? Will it be Demonic or will it be Cliff? Have you already done the prediction for me? Why won't it allow me to do my prediction? Start a prediction. Who will win? Here we go. Will it be Demonic? Will it be Cliff? We've got a quick two-minute prediction in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. This is an all-out brawl right out Where are they? There they are. The only way to win this matchup, ladies and gentlemen, is by knockout. It won't be a very quick match, I can tell you. I can, uh, a very long match, I'll tell you. One of, one of us will knock the other out easy. Huge move there. Demonic's been impressive straight away, though, off the bat. And now it's the authority coming into it again. Cliff, let's go! <laughs> Huge move. That is damaging Demonic there. Demonic sliding out. Great reversal, man. The person with that spotlight needs to be careful turning that bulb on and off like he is. He could blow it. And a great hammerlock there. Into the slam. Boom. What a punch. Great punch. And a reversal there by Cliff. And a brilliant fall away slam there by Demonic. Just jeered himself up now by battering that chest of his. Huge, huge left hand. And he's throwing that demon over his shoulders and he's having a dance. Could this be his downfall? He's popping, locking, showing everything, but he's cocking. <laughs> oh, a huge reversal there by Demonic with the RKO. And a massive reversal by Cliff as well with the dragon screw leg takedown. Nice waistlift slam there by Cliff on Demonic. Beautiful kicks. Beautiful kicks. What else could we see here by Cliff? A beautiful falcon arrow. Oh, and he's trying to drag his mask off. Trying to rake the mask straight off of his face. And a zigzag, ladies and gentlemen. And he's G'ing him up. He's G'ing him up. With the stomp, ladies and gentlemen. The Woo! On his fire right now. And now Demonic. Demonic with the huge oh, Alabama what slam. What power. What and again, the strikes coming in there by Demonic. With another backbreaker. The damage is being done, ladies and gentlemen. Another Alabama slammer coming up. Just trying to force the damage onto that spine. He's gone for a knee lock. He knows that Cliff has knee issues. And he's decided to take full advantage of that. Take out the legs. Take out the finisher. Big leg drop there. That, oh, stretching the groin. Oh, and a massive German suplex as well. Oh, and he's got him up. He's got him up. Oh, the wheelbarrow slam. Going back for that knee. Going back for the knee. And here comes those illustrious attacks yet again. And he's got him up. Oh, the full Nelson slam. I don't think Cliff can take much more of this battering, if I'm honest. There is not many more moves he can take, and this will be the end. And he's picking him up. Deadlift attack. 
Massive pump handle. Boom. He saw it coming. He just punched him in the chest. Cliff with a reversal. Massive headbutt. And he picks up Demonic. He picks him up for the slam of his own. We're just having a brawl. We're having a big backstage brawl at the moment. Um, the only way to win is by knockout. And he's going for the arm. He's going for the arm of the demon. Stamping on the hand. Just stamping on the hands. And he's going for another submission. He's got the accolade in. The accolade is in, ladies and gentlemen. What's it going to do? The torque on that lower back must be killing him. And he let him free. He let him up. He let him up. Oh, and another reversal there by Demonic for another Alabama slammer. That's the third Alabama slam. And a big reversal by Cliff. Big, big kicks as well. Oh, enough taunting, young man. Take advantage. You're letting him regain his breath. Damn it. Massive knee drop there to the face. And he's having a dance. He's having a dance, ladies and gentlemen. He's saying, I'm that confident that we're going to win. I can dance my way to victory. Me, personally, I don't like that about this person. And he's got him up again. A huge slam. What are we going to see? Oh, a beautifully measured knee strike there to the face. He learnt that off of IJAP. Cliff's characters, my spirit animal. <laughs> and he's got the accolade again. Oh, can he make him pass out from the pain? It is a hell of a lot of punishment there being given. And he's let him out of it again. This is just pure torture at the moment that Cliff is trying to give over to Demonic. And Demonic's going to take advantage now. He's got him up. The power. He's doing reps and exercise with him. And here comes Demonic again. Huge backbreaker with the re extended wrench there as well. The pendulum backbreaker strikes again with another huge slam. Boom. A brilliant reversal there by Cliff. What are we going to see here? What are we going to see here? Another falcon arrow which knocks out the demon. The authority is on fire tonight. Unlucky demonic. Let's fucking go! It's been a while since Cliff has had a singles win <laughs> on WWE May. Oh, MCW May. Fucking WWE shit. Predictions were right. That is it. The next matchup we have is the tag team champions. Cheers, TJ. Is the tag team champions looking for competition? And they are going up against a former tag team champion in Benjamin and also Kano. Kano has been very impressive within this whole stuff that we've got here. So let's get this done on here. So we'll do another five minute... Um, another five minute prediction... Let me know, ladies and gentlemen, as to who you feel like will win. Um, if only you had your own faction. That's it, mate. That's it. Let's get a prediction up and running. Only 50 channel points were done on that. Are you serious right now? Brace yourselves for the charismatic enigma.
So this is just a normal tag team matchup. And here he is sporting that illustrious MCW Tag Team Championship. Really? That's not good. But you can't. Have you had your pills tonight? Don't make yourself a nice cup of tea. You have stuff in mind for your character after the pay-per-view. Not a problem, dude. We can discuss that 100%. I'd love a cup of tea. I'm just having a bad head week, aren't you? Everything. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, we are raising money for mental health. Because Mrs. Davies is struggling right now. She is struggling. Here Two more than we have got. Cesaro, Two more than we have got the card. Nice. The so there's Jeff Hardy's tag team partner. The other half of the tag Cesaro team champions, ladies and gentlemen. And that is Cesaro, the Swiss WWE. Superman. The Swiss Cyborg. And they are taking on Benjamin and Kano. They've never tagged before, Benjamin and Kano. It'd be interesting to see where it goes. Can they earn a title shot? That's the question. Can they earn a title shot? Boom, boom, it's time to play the game. <laughs> I have no idea how to make my entrance better. Oh, you have an idea. Okay. Happened again on Supercard. Let me have a look, dude. Someone's been updating their deck, Griff, and therefore we're no longer on WrestleMania card. So I'll go and lower my deck yet again because people just don't fucking listen. I don't know, mate. We're on um, we're on WrestleMania now. You've left yours, have you? Nice. Nice. And here is... That's the impressive Kano right there. Instead of Demon Finn Balor motion, there's a motion called Dark Ritual. Oh, nice. So it might not take as long, yeah? I think it's just my phone crashing, being shit. Maybe, mate. It might very well be. So here we go, the tag team partner of Kano. Looking to get his name back into the tag team picture, ladies and gentlemen. It is a previous champion. And that is Benjamin. You know, I've got two running cards being in your team. Thanks for that. How'd you get two running cards? You've only... Haven't you only just joined? Or, or, or have you been with us already for another event? This will be your first F1 you've had. You've had in a while. Nice! Well, hopefully it'll help out your deck, Griff. So 
So I'm intrigued to see who, who might win this one. Will Cesaro and Jeff carry on having zero competition? Or will there be stuff in it? It'll be okay. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Very good. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I did win. Fucking won my first the match in ages. Winning this match will go a long way in separating yourselves from the pack. Mm. It's my first couple of teams I don't know how long. Tag made. And that this is what's making this tag team a very successful one at the moment. The quick tags that they're making. And that's going to jam Cesaro's offense. Oh, and there's the power of Kano. There's the power of Kano and Cesaro. Boom! The massive drop. And now, oh, the painful manoeuvre to the elbow. Very, very powerful human. Hi, Mrs. Davies. We love you. <laughs> Beautiful fall away slam. And in case you didn't hear her. <laughs> You know that's a good impression. Just got the card. Are we dropping down? No, mate. No, they've had enough time. There's only two hours left. Or an hour left of the event. They've had enough time. So I'm going to raise my deck. <laughs> Not the first time that's happened in the last 24 hours. <laughs> a big move there by Kano and Cesaro. Going for the win. Oh. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Oh, yeah, it happens a lot. I only started it today and got eight shards. Yeah, you done good, man. I got, I got seven. Frankie got her five that was required. Exactly that. You still did it. Well, I'm going to swap out my cards now. We are now back up to Ronin tier. And off the tag is Jeff Hardy. And tag. He's in now. Finally. Placing them into the corner. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Up and yeah, no excuses at all. You got five as well. Nice. Uh, so I did charge my deck. No, I appreciate you charging the deck. That's all I ask for, mate. Charge. I don't ask for much in this team. I ask for five shards each to get the main card. If we get more than five shards each, then we go for the second one. It's as simple as that. Normally, we get three cards in ring domination, but why should we carry other people? It just ain't fair. Once again, tag is registered. Gets him with the counter. Oh, yeah, exactly. Exactly that. You got 16 shards, so I did my... You did indeed, mate. You 100% did. So did, so did Huckle Bunny. Uh, Griff. I think Huckle Bunny did 25. And I think there was one more above Huckle Bunny. I think it was Daniel. Daniel done quite a lot. You found out why people are saying BCE. Oh, tell me, please, Demonic. Tell me, you gorgeous man. Here we go. What? Not even a one cap. <laughs> and Cesaro and Kano. They're going for it. What a move. What a move. One. Oh, Daniel got 33 shards. Shit. None. And this might not have a it's about, I've, I've, I've still got fucking 14 doublers. And that's not from doing anything. You can't wait for Saturday, mate. It's going to be good. Saturday's pay-per-view. Football returns? What? Yeah. Lighten up the chest and now... Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. That's not too bad. You got four. Well, I think out of 150 picks off the draft board, I got 12 doubles. 
No, I've still, I still haven't used them. At least you reached your five. The championship returns this weekend. When does the Premier League return? Is it the week after? Because, because the new SummerSlam cards are called SummerSlam BCE. Oh, okay. And there, there, there we have. We've got it locked in. Oh, why didn't Jeff attack Benjamin to avoid that? Here we go. Here we go. What's the ref doing? The ref's having a run on the treadmill. One. Oh. So it's the week after, yeah? I know it's the Community Shield of um, Liverpool v Chelsea this weekend, I think it is, for the Community Shield. I'm looking forward to that. And the Swiss Cyborg, he's going up for the neutraliser. Here we go. And here we go. Can he do it? And the ref is there. One, two. Oh, Benjamin there with the pivotal rescue. Is it rare to pull WrestleMania 38 or running cards off draft boards? Um, it's rare to get your tier pull. Not really rare to pull uh, WrestleMania 38s, mate. Unless you're on about the epic draft board. Yeah, please do show me, mate. Send it in my DMs. Frankie got lucky today, by the way. She, um, she Her last tier pull she had was Hulk Hogan, wasn't it? And on the epic draft board today, she got a pick off of there. And with that epic draft pick, she got a pro Hulk Hogan. Strongest in the tier of the normal cards. England woman looked to be in the final. Nice. Apparently, Kyron's going to the final. Oh, did you? Nice. Is that a pro? Brilliant backbreaker. Wow. First attempt. Love it when that happens. Benjamin's got in with a guillotine. Can he, can he do it? Oh, no. Jeff Hardy took out the referee. Luckily, Cesaro's an absolute fucking nutcase. I will slowly work on my character. And yeah, get it sent to me um, by, uh, by Thursday night, Ian, if you can, mate. Yeah, Sweden's out. Yeah, fuck you, Sweden. <laughs> I know you're from there, boy, but fuck you, Sweden! <laughs> Demonic said, nice one, Mrs. Davies. It's for the pay-per-view. Okay, that's fine. All right, yeah. Sort it out before, um, after the pay-per-view, mate. That's not a problem. Fuck all of England except me. <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> oh, uh, mate, I'm I'm all for saying fuck fuck the whole of England. I am England. Um, but yeah, like fuck Man United, mate, as well. What a tag team match, by the way. This has been brutal. You replied to my DM. What did I say? Yeah, do it, man. Yeah, I just don't want any more generals. No more generals. And here comes Jeff Hardy. Is the freshest of all four characters. Will I be streaming for New Tier tomorrow? Would you like me to? If you would like me to stream New Tier, I will 100% do it. I'll give the community what they want. What? Got a poll up. Yeah, let's do a poll. Let's do a poll. Great move there by Benjamin. Gets him in position. This is not going to... Hard right hand. No, 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 no. This, this is... There you go. News. The pole is up. Oh, a huge pedigree off the top rope. That is the move that took out the authority for the tag titles. Two... Oh, and a beautiful kick out there by Jeff Hardy. And now Kano is in. Massive knee there to Jeff Hardy's head. And he's going there for what looks like a Boston Crab. And he's got it locked in. 
Jefferson Crab. And Jeff How did Jeff kick it? How? How indeed? Jeff Hardy's resiliency, tenacity. The crab locked in. Nice counter. Reaches his partner for the tag. Sir Squash a lot, welcome into the stream as well. I didn't see your message there, but welcome in. This is so much fun to watch. And there is the spinning sit out power bomb by Kano. One, two. Oh, how did he kick out? Jeff Hardy didn't even get in there. Jeff Hardy didn't even come in to try and save his tag partner. Oh, what a beautiful maneuver there by Cesaro, followed up by the stomp. One, two, oh, showing why they're ex WWE guys. This is it. And now Jeff Hardy with the tag team veteran maneuver there by taking Benjamin to the outside, but Kano has Cesaro up and Cesaro counters. Jeff is absolutely pummeling him. Pummeling him. Oh, wow. Is that the new SummerSlam card? Oh, I like that. Two. And again, Cesaro and Jeff Hardy. On one hell of a roll. That SummerSlam BCE tier looks fucking amazing. Make sure you Google the card of New SummerSlam tier. The graph, the, the imagery of it is amazing. Demonic, put up a picture of it in the Supercard chat, please. So this is a random matchup now for everybody. A big... Big six woman tornado tag that I've thrown in. The reason I've thrown this match in, Ivy Jane is such a dominant force in MCW that at the pay-per-view, she needs to have an elimination chamber match. You know what I'm saying? The first ever women's elimination chamber in MCW. The first ever men's MCW elimination chamber. What better way to solidify greatness than going up against everyone available so here we have six women competitors five sorry let's let's turn this around four out of these six women will be entered in the most impressive out of this match will get entered into that elimination chamber along with thunder suzuki who deserves the match so i'm glad ian's just brought that to my attention Thunder Suzuki deserves that matchup. Looks wicked, doesn't it? And obviously, it is SummerSlam this weekend as well. We'll be watching that. Uh, probably not live. I think it's on the 30th um, SummerSlam. Which is a Saturday night. So we will watch that on Sunday. Yeah? Sunday with some snacky snacks. Do you want to see the card I'm talking about in the tier? I also want to see it. And you've just put it up in the Discord as well, yeah? Oh, it does look good, though, doesn't it? With all the snakes around it. Oh, it's going to be good. Ivy James. Ivy Jane has an iron fist. Oh, massive iron fist on the division. Thunder Suzuki will make her a bitch. Thunder Suzuki is an impressive, impressive diva. Not as impressive as Frankie and Chelsea, she says. Could that be something coming up in the future then? If Thunder Suzuki gets herself a tag partner. I'll be streaming in the Discord if someone wants to join me and watch it when it's live. What's that, dude? Streaming what in the Discord? What's that? Supercard? Or are you all about SummerSlam? You're welcome to try your best, mate. You're welcome to try your best to get it streamed in there. I've tried before and it just fucking won't allow it. 
And then if people want to uh, join you, mate, and watch it, then welcome to come and join you. Just, I wouldn't stream it in the Revolution, because the Revolution isn't a wrestling-based type of Discord. To be fair, my Madhouse one isn't wrestling-based. It's just taken over. <laughs> Here comes Tony Storm. Will she be a storm in this matchup? Or will it be a little drizzle drizzle? With a steampunk look, maybe. Because I am Doc Hayes. No, I won't. I'll do it in the madhouse. Good lad. That's why I beat Chelsea one on one. Yeah, this is it. Thunder did beat Chelsea one on one. Next up into the matchup, ladies and gentlemen, we have Akira. Huh? <laughs> Frankie just said, nobody asked your opinion here. <laughs> Oh, the Cody Rhodes card, yeah. I don't like the image, though. Don't like the image of Cody. But it's nice to see him with a card officially on the game that's not a special card. And here we go. The sixth and final woman in this Tornado Tag Match. It's boss time, baby! The blueprint of MCW! Sasha Banks is here! Yes, yes, yo. Exactly, I can change the image. So it's all good. It's all good. You're hoping he's your freebie? Oh, mate. We're going to do a whole night of community survivors then, yeah? When it comes to that. You would allow Liv Morgan to sit on your face. Fair enough, Hazard. Hazel's just a horny 15-year-old. I feel like his um, his hormones are turning up, and a lot. You go, you're going through that stage of your life, Hazel. He's, he's, he's just a horny child. It was so long ago for us. Yeah, a hell of a lot of survivors tomorrow. I'll have to get my tokens put up. The ring is packed with <laughs> Here we go. I never even put down who will win. We don't need to know who will win. That stage began a long time ago. Yeah, but now, Hazard, now you're just a horny little, uh, horny teenager, mate. <laughs> Hazard, Frankie said, learn to behave while she's telling your mum. <laughs> Hazard, as long as you use protection and it's all consented, that's all I care about. I know there's a rule. You have to be 16, apparently. I was talking about Carmella dancing over me when I first joined the stream. Yeah, he did. That is completely correct. Why are all men disgusting? <laughs> huh? Boys are disgusting. It's because boys have got so much spunk about them. They like I ain't got I ain't got it in me anymore. Huh? Eventually, I'll... Yeah, but I'm not... I'm not... Yeah, we have a good time. <laughs> you know what's so weird, though? So they say 16, but our school plays a club head match for us if we ask for something. That's good! But that's a good thing, dude. <laughs> Yo, Dilfer, how we doing? Oh, Dilfer, Dilfer's in the house. I think it's just no matter what, they'd rather that than no protection. Exactly. I mean, I always take a gun with me. That's my protection. Yeah, we've only ever used protection once, me and the missus. And there's the pin. One, two, and a big kick out. So, it looks like tomorrow night we're streaming the new tier of Supercard. woo -hoo. I saw the poll is complete. 
So yeah, is this a thing of beauty that we are seeing right now? Are you saying no to are you saying no to Makita Lyons sitting on your face? Mate, I've got asthma. I say no to anyone sitting on my face. <laughs> no, I, I need to breathe, dude. Adapt to the London environment and change it to a knife for protection the next time we go there. Nah, mate, if you take a knife with you for protection, that, that could turn out nasty. Uh, Hazard's like, oh, holy, that beauty. I'd let her do anything. <laughs> Never know, mate. She might even assist you to detention. Or grade your papers. Fresh King's like, Nikita's sitting on my face. I need to breathe. <laughs> mate. I don't even like people being up in my face giving me all snogs and that. Just because I don't like hot breath. I'd let her super kick me and sit on my face and her brown nose came out. I mean, Hazard, that's, that's a whole level of diarrhea you do not want. Like, you're on about shoving your nose up their arse. And that that's just weird. Like, I mean, I don't know what you kids are getting into nowadays. I know that a big thing for kids nowadays, it's all about licking arseholes in the new generation. And I think that's fucked up. It's weird shit. Like, I asked someone that the other day in the stream. They've done a Never Have I Ever. And I put, never have I ever licked an arsehole. And they were drinking away, mate. They were like, oh, yeah, I've, I've done it loads of times. I've eaten many of arses. And I'm like, Bleh. Exactly. Like, everyone's like, oh, you know, um, you've got to give it a clean first. I'm sorry. Like, I wouldn't clean up a dead body and go, I want to fuck that now. One. Two. Ooh. What matches have I missed? Big matches. Smullen. 668. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. And we have had matches so far. We had the uh, non-stop internet championship being retained by Kyron versus King. We had Ivy Jane beating Cheryl Minow. We had Johnny Thunder retaining his hardcore title in a great Extreme Rules match against BR Styles. Chelsea and Frankie. Dominating the women's tag division yet again. Beating W and Alpha. Cliff defeating Demonic Titan in a backstage brawl. Knocking them clean out. Then we had Cesaro and Jeff Hardy. Um, again, ruling over the male tag division. Beating Benjamin and Kano. And now we've got this big six, uh, big six woman tornado tag. It is Smullen. How are we doing, Smullen? Might get a bit on the nose. That's it. Might get a bit on the nose. MC Dub. Just eat it. Eat it. <laughs> That's a question I'm going to have to ask TJ, you know. Oh, I, don't, I don't know how to say it. Oh, Team Sasha Banks there with the big win. I'm obviously saying it wrong. I don't know who Sean Mulan is. Is it Mulan or Mullen? I don't know. Will Ospreay is here. Welcome to the stream, Will Ospreay. Right, we're going to get a prediction done up now for the next show, the next one on the match card. The next match on the match card is for the Lone Wolf Championship. Seeing the newly crowned TJ Smith defending versus Kyle O'Reilly. This will be a quick two minute long prediction whilst we get the entrances done. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Yeah, so this is our weekly streamed show, uh, mate, that we do. We've got a Tuesday night show and a Friday night show with a pay-per-view happening in line with all of the um, with all of the WWE ones. So this Saturday we've got our own pay-per-view, which is called Death from Above. Every matchup will involve some sort of height in it. Uh, I'll give you a shout out, my dude. There you go, mate. Just say you want to book a rim job. I mean, what the hell? But yeah, here comes Kyle O'Reilly looking to uh, bounce onto the scene here. You got it all on TJ. Nice. But yeah, Will Osprey 2K League. How are we doing, Osprey? Cliff, I put pictures of all the cards that were revealed in Discord. Nice. My friend Kale Mullen. Not a vegetable. <laughs> Just because it's Kale. <laughs> now I need to call them a veg. Although, hold on. Before I say it, if they're a vegetable, they're not disabled at all, are they? I don't want to get in shit. <laughs> He's your cousin, right. He's a vegetable then. He's a vegetable. Kale's a vegetable. Get it, baby. TJ. Big, big points on TJ at the moment. Ospin Arkin with the lurk. Good lad. He's normally work lurking by now. Now that I think about it, I kind of want to have a template so I could have my custom. I don't know what you mean. Yeah, the new card looks of the new tier are now in the Madhouse Discord group, ladies and gentlemen, for um, Supercard. Some good shit on there. Don't say his name. Okay, I won't say his name. Of course, the title is on the line in this one, guys. And don't be surprised if history is made here tonight. I know the champ has looked good as of late, but I'd say the opposition has looked just as good, if not better. You're disabled, I'm disabled. I'm technically a vegetable, mate. I'm a couch potato. The champ certainly has his hands full here tonight, but he looks more than ready. I'm a couch potato. That's a vegetable. Potato's a vegetable, isn't it? That's why at McDonald's, I always have my vegetables with my chips. <laughs> I want Liv or Roman as my freebie, or Roman or Ezekiel. Oh, Ezekiel? Fuck me. That shows how much I can read. Alexa. Courtesy of me. Same here. Disabled couch carrot. <laughs> Let's go. Introducing the challenger from Vancouver, British Columbia. Weighing in at 200 pounds. Kyle O'Reilly. Woo. And introducing the champion. I don't really care what freebie card I get as long as I get my card. That's all I care about. So here we go. This is a no holds barred match. I will get the hydration for you. That is my last bit of tea. If I get Roman, he's being dusted. You wouldn't dust him. You you wouldn't dust him. You love that title. Of course you would. You, you made it for me. Chrissy, wake up. up. Chrissy, wake up. TJ, you can wrestle me later, Chelsea says with a winky face. <laughs> TJ, you're getting it tonight, son. <laughs> Got my first ray yesterday in the hooray fusion noise. It does look good. And I was like, TJ is holding on to it. Oh, a great move there by TJ. No old bard, no rules, no rules in this matchup. 
Yeah, but it's new tier card, mate, isn't it? Like, you're not going to dust a new tier card. It just ain't going to happen. I feel like you're all talk there, mate. I'm only running plus, so I'll have to wait a while. But doing team events, getting new card will boost me up. I don't like this. Chrissy, wake up. Uh, hello. And Kyle O'Reilly now has taken it on to TJ. TJ with a great reversal and the striking right to the abdomen. What are we going to see here? Oh, nothing. They ran into each other. <laughs> okay, you have a point. It is a new tier. Exactly, it's a new tier card. You won't dust it just yet. We'll wait until you're like next new tier ready. Oh, brilliant move there by Kyle O'Reilly. And he's getting hyped. He is hyped up, baby. Oh, that was a great fart. Beautiful move. Beautiful move. I don't like this. Chrissy, wake up. Uh, hey, hello. Here we go. One. Oh, just the one count there. I won't be happy if he's my freebie. Oh, yeah, you will. He's going to be one of the strongest cards on the tier. You drunk fuck. Oh, a huge chest slap by TJ. What else has TJ got on him? Oh, a massive, massive punch to the jaw. You don't like Roman. I know you don't. I'll be happy with any new tier card. That's it, Ian. That's it. I'm the same, mate. Oh, huge knees. Massive. That would be painful. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules and so do I. TJ coming in big. Boom. What a kick there, sending his opponent to the outside of the ring. The main card I want is John Cena. Yeah, quite a few people are like that at the moment. I'd be happy with Edge. I love, I'd love an Edge card. Bazinga, bitch. Bazinga. Bazinga. Now we know Kyle O'Reilly is known for those technical strikes that he's able to get done. There's no count outs on this match. Wow. Here goes Kyle O'Reilly, big move. Huge move. One, two. Oh! <laughs> Kyle O'Reilly taking TJ out of the equation and winning and becoming the new Lone Wolf Champion, Kyle O'Reilly. Did not see that coming. No, neither did I. Didn't see that coming. But... You now get a rematch for that belt, TJ. You get a rematch, mate, because of the rematch clause. And ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the main event of the night. On Friday, Hazza issued the challenge to IJAP93, the MCW World Heavyweight Champion. The stipulations on this match are humongous. If Hazza wins this match, ladies and gentlemen, Hazza will get a title shot on Friday on MCW Carnage in an Iron Man match. But if Ian wins, Hazza has to leave the authority tonight.
We're going to do this one as a five minute long prediction. Let's fucking go. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Representing the authority. Huzzah! Peace! Heaven! Let's go. Well done. Hazard is coming down. He means business. What do you reckon, Hazard? Do you reckon you've got this in the bag? I'm going to join you on a heist, mate. Who's going to win? Ladies and gentlemen, as it is a main event, I want to ask you all to put your points in on that prediction poll. Bet as many as you can. It'll either be a huge win for you or a huge loss. The exact same stipulation as it is there for Hazard. Who do you think's going to win? Get those channel points bet now. You haven't got long. Hazard issued the challenge. Can Hazard put his money where his mouth is? Consolation reward. We'll be playing Twister with Camille in the hotel room. Whoop, whoop. And here we go. The man. The man of the hour. And it probably will still say Cliff Davis, IJAP93. We'll get that changed after this show, if we can. I want people at their best, so if they want a shot at the main man, they need to get my attention. Hazard did the cha challenge, he issued it, he issued to me, means he'll be at his best. This is it, this is it, Hazard's the one that issued this challenge. Ian did not come looking for this fight, ladies and gentlemen, Hazard did. And it's last man standing, so it's going to be fucking brutal. That's it, we've got Hazard representing the authority. And representing Chaos as their leader. And the MCW champion of the world. Ian Wait till you see him next week. He'll look way different. Oh, I'm excited, Ian. I am excited. Oh, there we go. A crew of pirates and raiders check their flintlocks and sharpen their cutlasses as they disembark for Blackheart Island. The poisonous fog sends half the crew to Davy Jones's locker, and the other, the rest of them escape with a handful of plunder and a tale of plenty. This is going to be a great match. Get those points on. There's not many channel points been bet. Bet as many points as you have. A few new moves, everything. Oh, I like it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Who will come out of this uh, reigning supreme? Now, Ian Porter is a very, very strong, strong competitor of the MCW universe. Could very well be a five-star match incoming. we got a 1,000 points at the moment on Ian. Is having the fortitude to withstand a beating and keep getting Come on everyone, if I had if I had the channel points there, I would be betting the whole lot. Because this is a big stipulation match. Why not bet all of your channel points? And get involved in a high stakes matchup. And here comes Hazard. Cheers for the alert, dude. Oh, big, big kicks there to the upper chest area of Hazard. And now he's just, he's having his way with him. And Hazard with a big miss. Ian there. Oh, another massive miss. Looking for the disaster kick is what he was looking for. But he missed out big time. I'm saving up to get my character. Nice. Hazard is stunned at the moment. And he has been launched over the top rope to the outside of the ring. Ian now taking his time, picking the limbs that he wants to destroy first. 
He knows that without the use of the legs, Hazard's got nothing. And now he's taunted at the wrong time. Ian to make him pay. Oh, a huge move there by Ian. And he just squats over him and says, Get up, you son of a bitch. Here we go. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, and Hazard's up at the count of seven. Griff saving up for a title shot. I like it, Griff. Oh, and a big springboard flying forearm there by Hazard. Oh, Wah! Karate moves. <laughs> Hazard with the takedown headlock. And now he's wrenching that head of Ian. And now Hazard's picking him up. What's in store here? Tosses him into the ring post. Big, big Superman punch. What's this? Oh, a huge spear. Huge spear out of nowhere. One. Oh, Hazard's doing a TJ. Hazard's doing it. We haven't seen something. We haven't seen a last man standing match since week two, I think it was, of MC Dub. Massive spear there by Hazard. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh, and he's getting it up at the count of eight there. Yeah, it does indeed, dude. As long as you've got it all created, it uploads all the entrance as well. And Hazard's down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, don't let him get up. He says attack him. And that's exactly what Ian Porter has done. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Huge move. Huge move. Oh, what a move there by Ian. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh, and has made it up. Hazard has made it up in time. And he's got Ian up. He's got him up. Huge right hand there by Hazard. And now the attacks come. And Ian's out of it again. One. Two. Three. Four. It's over. It has to be. <laughs> Seven. Eight. And Ian Porter gets up again. Hazard with the little jab there. And now he's bringing him over to the ropes. Oh, he doesn't know where to take him. Ian counters because he took so long. What's in store now? What's Ian else got? The black mass. It's got to be over. We're going for it. This is it. Two. Ian, why didn't you just leave him? Ian could not leave him. Oh, here we go. Oh, a massive move. That move has taken out many people in this match. Or in this franchise. If you want your rematch at the pay-per-view, you can have it at the pay-per-view. Here we go. Another huge knee. Oh, my God. Ian Porter is having his way now with Hazard. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, and he's up again. He's trying to knee his head off. I agree. 
was a perfectly placed target. Look and here we go. Right Wrenching the, the arm through the rope. That must have hurt. Brilliant kicks now by Hazard in the corner. The face full of turnbuckle, not again, and again. We haven't seen Ian take this much abuse in a long, long time. In fact, I don't think we've ever seen Ian take this amount of abuse. He switches it back around. Series of reversals. Oh, a huge right hand there by Hazard. Here we go. One. Two. Three, four. Oh, bad. You should have left him there, Hazard. He was playing possum. He was playing possum, ladies and gentlemen. Brilliant reversal time there by Ian Porter. And there's those clinical strikes yet again. You hate the AI, yeah, mate. Sometimes I do too, but it makes it more fun, doesn't it? One, Ian pumping up, he's pumping up. Where's he going? Where's he doing? Oh, a running sent on there by Ian. Is he going to leave him or is he going to do some more damage? He just needs to do it. Hit the knee or black mass and it's over. 100%. Five. Six. Seven. Egg and Hazard's back up again. Now that is Another huge forearm there by Ian. Two. Next finisher wins. I agree. This could be over now. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And Hazard is up again. The resiliency. Oh, and he countered the black mass. He countered the black mass. And he's asking Ian to get up. He's going for it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, another counter. Another counter. There's counters everywhere. All I've got to say is, what a match. And here comes a big knee. Oh, my days. He's got to be out of it. He's got to be finished. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh, how did you get up? How did you get up? It's so worth the watch. Here we go. What are we going to see now? Over the top rope to the concrete floor. Ian don't know what he wants to do. Does he want to come out the ring or stay in? He don't know. He knows that Hazard's being counted. Two. Three. Was it a dodgy landing on the outside, ladies and gentlemen? Will that landing keep him on the floor? you got goosebumps. So have I. Seven. Eight. And he's up again. He's outside the ring now. Big knee strikes there. Big knee strikes. There is no hardcore title rematch, mate. Johnny Funder retained that today. I reckon you'll win it, mate. Four. Five. This has got to be over. Six. Seven. Eight. And he's up again. He is up again. Huge knees. Huge knees again to the head. Oh, oh, oh. This has been incredible. I completely agree. 
Three. GG's Griff. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And he's up again. He's up again. And he has free reign of the outside. And he's got the attack in first this time. What can he do with it? Can he do? Oh, Ian reverses. Big reversal there by Ian. And he brings him to the floor. Big reversal there by Ian. Yeah, how, how is he still getting up? Will he get up this time? Six. It's a quick account. Seven. Eight. Nine. And he's got up again. He got up again. The nine count. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The spear. Has us hit the spear. One. Two. Oh, Hazza, you've ruined it. Maybe not. Maybe not. One. Two. Three. <laughs> four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh, Hazza! Hazza, what did you do? Oh, and Hazza's going to finish it for falling shit now. He's gone for it big. Huge Superman punch into the spear. He is punishing the MCW champion right now. Six. Okay, already we get seven. Congratulations to the crowd and get back into the fight. Eight. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Nine. Instead of attacking him. Ten. Has a B7. Oh my god. What a matchup. What a night for the authority, ladies and gentlemen. What a matchup for the authority. This means, ladies and gentlemen. Friday night's main event now. The Friday night main event of the evening is a Iron Man match for the MCW World Heavyweight title. On Friday, Hazza, you get your title match in, in the Iron Man match that you wanted. What a fucking show that was, ladies and gentlemen. Brilliant show. Just the one title change. Title retentions. And a hell of a main event. We've got to say. One hell of a main event. Um, GG's big time. Because that is the first time I have known Ian's character get a little bit rocked. But yeah. Um, we'll do our quick YouTube sign off right now. And we'll definitely get this one uploaded tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen. That is it for MCW Mayhem tonight. Thank you all so much for joining us. Until Friday night carnage. Have a cracking day!